What's happening out there everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this series of videos, which I'm gonna to link to the first one in the description down below in this video, we're taking a look at Bootstrap Flex. The first video I did was on the enable flex behaviors, talking about how to just enable flex and to make it truly responsive. In this video, we're gonna take it a step further and focus on directions, rows, and columns. And with that, let's get started. Alrighty, so I have the code from the previous video. If it looks a little different, you'll notice that's because I added a little bit of padding in this black border, and I am gonna add some H2, so I added a margin top to separate them, more for visual, just readability, just because I felt like those borders were just way too close together. All right, so what I'm gonna do is if I come down here below this Amadiv and the Flex, we're gonna keep this the same way right here, but what I wanna do is, I'm gonna build some other columns because right now we've got rows going across the page. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set up down below, making sure I don't go outside this container. I'm gonna add an H2 and I'm gonna say column. So H2, we're gonna build some columns. We're gonna also add an H2 above the row because these by default are rows. So if I come up here right below the H1, I'm gonna say H2, we're gonna say rows. All right, this is looking a lot better now. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna build in my columns. For easeability of this design, I can simply copy and paste this whole entire design. Since we already have the flex engaged and since everything's gonna be the large breakdown, I'm gonna copy and paste right down below for the columns. So again, we've got the rows up top, which they go across, now the columns want to go down. So what I want to do with this design is I have to dictate essentially saying, well, by default it's rows, but if I want columns, I'm going to say flex columns. So what I can do here now is build columns into the design. The reason for the columns, and I think about these two, is I think about left and right, top to bottom. In a future video, we're gonna talk about how to move things around inside of divs to move it top or bottom, and this is where the columns can really come in. What you should also notice is the columns stretch all the way to the edge of the page because they're essentially working like a block line element. The rows don't really do that. What the rows do is that they will stretch until the full size of the content and then wrap down inside. Hence this header div, which goes all the way across and the word div. But what if I want my columns to kind of act in the same way like rows, whereby they only stretch to the size of the content? Well, now we have an inline flex when it comes to columns. So what I can do here is I'm gonna copy and paste this. I'm gonna move it right down the page. And with columns, I'm now gonna say column. In this case, I should more say to say column, but I guess it's plural anyways. I'll just keep it column for this one. I'll say column and inline flex. Now we wanna keep the flex column where it is to make sure we have columns. However, we're gonna change the DLG flex. This is where we're gonna change it to be an inline. So we're gonna say DLG and then inline flex. Now what that's gonna do, if we scroll down the page, is now the size of the box is the largest one to come out in size. The divs won't go totally small in those pieces, but at least it goes from full width block to an inline style. Now there is one other kind of piece of code I wanna show. It's a little goofy, I don't use it, but there are random occasions whereby you might want to use it. And that's at the very top where I wrote the rows. By default, they are rows, but there is an also an extra class that you can use on random occasions by adding a flex row. Now this won't change because by default, the flex are rows. How I do see this being used, and I've never used it personally, but I can kind of think about it, is if we think about it from a responsive design, you might want this design to be a row by default, hit a certain level and go columns, 
and maybe go back to rows. So for example, what I could do is a little bit of an advanced idea is I could say, let's make everything flex. And then I could say flex, uh, this case, MD row. And I could say something like flex LG column. So what happens is that this will move back and forth based upon the design that you're working with. So again, it can move around based upon the design of rows and columns. Do I use this? Not really that much. I'll really only use the column when I need to use it and the row by default is a row.